we are asked to factor the given expressions. For these examples, we will be using the method of substitution. For number one, we're given x to the fourth minus eight x squared plus 15. Notice how the given expression resembles the expression x squared minus eight x plus 15, which we are more used to factoring. So what we'll do is perform a substitution so the given expression resembles this degree two trinomial. Before we do this though, let's write x to the fourth as x squared raised to the second power. The given expression is equal to x squared raised to the second power minus eight times x squared plus 15. Remember when we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents, we still have x to the fourth here. Now to make the given expression resemble the degree two trinomial that we see here, we'll perform a substitution and let u equal x squared. By letting u equal x squared, we can now write this first term as u squared, the second term as minus eight u, the third term is still plus 15. So notice how by performing the substitution, u equal, so notice how by substituting u for x squared, we now have a degree two trinomial which we are more used to factoring. So now we'll factor this in terms of u. Once we do this, we'll perform substitution again and write the final result in terms of x. So u squared minus eight u plus 15 factors into two binomial factors. The terms in the first positions are u and u because u times u is equal to u squared. The terms in the second positions are the factors of positive 15 that add to negative eight. So because negative five times negative three equals positive 15 and negative five plus negative three is equal to negative eight, one factor is u minus five, the other factor is u minus three. But we're not done because remember, we're trying to factor this in terms of x, not u. So now we substitute x squared for u. So the final factored form would be the quantity x squared minus five times the quantity x squared minus three. Notice how we do not have a difference of squares here or here, and therefore this is factored completely in terms of x. Let's look at our second example on the next slide. For number two, we have two y to the one half minus 13 y to the one fourth plus 21. Looking at the fractional exponents, notice how we do not have a common denominator. Let's write one half as two fourths, so the fractional exponents do have a common denominator. So the given expression is equal to two y to the two fourths minus 13 y to the one fourth plus 21. Notice how the given expression resembles the expression two y squared minus 13 y plus 21 which we are more used to factoring. So what we'll do is perform a substitution so the given expression resembles this degree two trinomial. Before we do this though, let's write y to the two fourths as y raised to the power of one fourth squared. So the given expression is equal to two times y to the one fourth squared minus 13 y to the one fourth plus 21. And now for our substitution, we will let u equal y raised to the power of one fourth. By doing this, notice how this first term is now two u squared, and then we have minus 13u plus 21. Now we'll factor this in terms of u. Once we have it factored in terms of u, we'll perform another substitution to write their factored form in terms of y. Notice how for this trinomial, there are no common factors and the leading coefficient is not one, and therefore there are several methods we can use in order to factor this trinomial. For this example, let's use factor by grouping. The first step is to determine their product of a and c, which is two times 21. So a times c is equal to two times 21, which equals 42. The next step is to find the factors of 42 that add to negative 13. Well, because negative six times negative seven is equal to 42, and negative six plus negative seven is equal to negative 13, these are the two factors we're looking for, and we use these two factors to write minus 13u 
as minus six u minus seven u. So now we'll write this as four terms. We'll have two u squared minus six u minus seven u plus 21. And because we're using the factor by grouping technique, we cut this in half or group it into two parts. And now we factor the greatest common factor from the first half and the second half, and we should have a common binomial factor. The greatest common factor between these first two terms is two u. Factor out two u, we're left with a factor of u minus three. Because we want a common factor of u minus three, we'll factor negative seven rather than positive seven from negative seven u plus 21. So we factor out negative seven, we'd be left with u plus three. And notice how we do have a common binomial factor of u minus three. So now we'll factor u minus three from these two products, which would give us the quantity u minus three times the quantity two u minus seven. When I'm not quite done though, remember, we're trying to factor this in terms of y, not in terms of u. So now we'll substitute y to the one fourth for u. So the final factored form is the quantity y to the one fourth minus three times the quantity two y to the one fourth minus seven. This is the final factored form of the original expression in terms of y. I hope you found this helpful.